Excel slices are great because they allow us to easily filter our data and they're really intuitive to use. But they're a little bit on the chunky side and that's a pain when you're trying to build reports like dashboards where space is a premium. So in this video I want to show you how to make them really small because the options that we have on the slicer tools tab are a little limited because you can make the button smaller but eventually the font becomes unreadable. So how can we make that font smaller? Well there's no options here to do that so let me show you how we can go about making the font small enough and some other tricks to make these slices half the size they are by default. Basically what we need to do is create our own slicer style and I recommend you start by choosing one of the styles in the gallery that's pretty close to what you want because that's going to save you some work. So I want a green theme. I'm going to right click on this one here and choose duplicate. First thing I need to do is give it a name. I'll call it compact. And then I want to format the whole slicer. These are all the different elements of the slicer but I'm going to focus on whole slicer. And then into format and here I want to choose the font and I'm going to go with 9 point, that's small enough for me but you can go smaller and obviously depending on the font type you choose here you could even manage to get it even smaller than say your standard Calibri 9 font or even 8. The other thing that you can do is get rid of this border and that will allow you just to align the slices closer together. So I'm going to go none for the border, I'll click OK now I could continue and format these different elements but I haven't got time for all that fiddling about and I'm pretty happy with the colour green and the different accents that it has already. What I want to do is check the default slicer style for this document and that will just mean that any new slices I add will automatically pick up this new compact style that I'm creating here. So I'll click OK. Now the style will go to the front of your slicer style list and there you can see if I hover over it, it's compact. And my slice is selected so I'm just going to click on that one. So you can see now my font is smaller, I can make my button sizes considerably smaller, maybe not quite that small. And we can resize my slicer outer area. Now I've only applied it to one slicer. A shortcut to apply it to all is to select one of them, Control A to select them all. Now Control A actually selects all objects, so if you have images or shapes in your worksheet then it's going to select them as well. I've just got slices so it's easy for me just to select all and then click on the compact style that I've created and now you can see I've got a lot more room to move. I can nudge these slices closer together because I'm not limited by the borders that they have. And this one here I could possibly even change it so that it has two columns now that my font is quite a lot smaller. And I could move it up here and squeeze it into this space. So I won't spend a lot of time fiddling about with them. But basically by making the font size smaller and getting rid of the border I can squeeze my slices into much smaller spaces. You have to click on the slicer to activate the contextual slicer tools tab and we have our different size options there as well. Because slices are objects you can also use the align tools up here on the ribbon, send backward, bring forward, just like you can with other image objects and shapes. Now if you're new to slices be sure to check out my video on slices inside and out where I teach you how to insert them and how to link them to multiple pivot tables so you can see when I click on an item in this slicer, both of these pivot tables are updating. So in that video I teach you how to set that up and the key to making that work with two pivot tables. Okay, so that's how you make your slicers really small so you've got more space for your actual data visualization, charts and tables and that type of thing.